Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Investiva movement. On Friday, the U.S. consumer sentiment came in higher than expected for November. Chinese President Xi said that Beijing wants to work for a trade deal with the United States, but it is not afraid to fight back. This week, we have more data from the U.S., Switzerland, the Eurozone, and towards the end of the week, we have Canada's GDP numbers for the third quarter of the year. Today, I'm looking at the dollar Swissy pair, which finally confirmed a break above the daily Ichimoku cloud. If this isn't big enough, it also opened above the 0.9971 pivot level for the first time since June. But the future cloud remains bearish, and we know that historically, the dollar Swissy pair normally trades between the narrow range of 0.9971 and 0.9852. And sometimes it expands the range to a higher resistance level of 1.02 and a lower support of 0.97. This is, of course, unless some major jawboning happens like what we saw back in January 2015. With that, while we could see a temporary pullback towards the upper band of the Ichimoku cloud, the dollar Suisse range appears to have widened up a bit. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss, and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I will get back to you with more updates tomorrow.